Hello, welcome back to StarCraft 2 with me, Nidhi. So, let's have a look at the star map. What's our general status, Matt? We've picked up a distress call from the planet Agria. There's a colony there under attack by the Zerg. Your convict buddy Tychus lined up a mission retrieving another artifact. It's on a Protoss shrine world called Monolith. Alright, so now we finally get the choice between missions. Um, we have Agria and Monolith, so uh, how it works, we can click on it and see what's it more or less about. Any ship receiving this transmission. The Zerg are invading Agria. The Dominion abandoned us here. We're just a small farming colony. We've got to evacuate before we're overrun. If you can hear this message, please help us. Alright, so uh, here we will get a fire bat. Specialized anti infantry attacker and 100,000 credits and three Zerg research, so that's a new thing. And Monolith. The Mobius boys think there's another artifact in a world called Monolith. Supposedly, there's Protoss guarding it. A group of fanatics call themselves the Tal Dareem. Now, don't get all sentimental thinking these Tal Dareem are your old Protoss buddies. Because they ain't. Alright, here we would get 110,000 for Protoss Research and the Marauder. Heavy Assault Infantry. So I think I'll do them more or less in the order of credit rewards. So since the 100,000 is lower than the 110,000, I'll do that first. Uh, because I think that's... Perhaps an indication to uh, what the devs think you should play in which order you should play them in. So yeah, let's launch Agria. Incoming transmission. Thank you so much for responding to our distress call, Commander. I'm Dr. Ariel Hansen and I represent the people of the Agria colony. Pleasure to meet you, Doc. You can call me Jim. What's the situation? The Zerg have overwhelmed our planetary defenses. The colony is lost. For the past 12 hours, we've been evacuating people to the nearest starport, but the Zerg attacks have become so intense, we can't get any more through. If you can guard the highway, we can start sending the remaining groups every few minutes. Don't worry, Doc. We'll get your folks through to that starport safe and sound. I pray you're right, Commander. The Zerg are more terrible than I ever imagined. Okay. Uh, so... We have to escort convoys, which may or may not be good. Anyways, we start off with two medics, that's quite nice. Uh, medics and fire bats. So let's just attack move over here. Okay. So they have an AoE attack. I think. Our allies are being attacked. Which well is quite handy. Okay, yep. Yeah, definitely an AoE attack. That's pretty neat. But in general, other than well, this mission, I think I rarely used the fire bats in my previous playthrough, which may be a Thank mistake. I'll give you control of the main building so you can help us evacuate the colony. Yeah, I'm just not exactly a fan of them because they can only attack ground units and it says they're mostly just strong against light infantry, which, well, I'd rather have marines, uh, which can also shoot at, uh, well, non-ground units, which is like flying units. We'll need to escort the convoys all the way to the main starport for them to have a chance of escaping this planet. Also, I think, where can I see... The first convoy from Lark's Crossing will be moving out soon. Yep, they have range 2, so I think range 2 is not that great. Uh, what does a marine have? Has range 5, so the range is not a thing I don't really like about them. So they're basically melee characters. And I tend to like ranged characters a bit more. Uh, also, Additional I should supply build supply depots, yes. 
Additional supply depots. There we go. Uh, build a couple yep. supply Not depots. Or, well, at least one. Um. Right, so the convoy seems to anything. start. Let's roll. So I will just assign my group to follow the convoy so we can more or less uh, not focus on them. But we'll need more troops for sure, so let's just build a couple supply depots. Now the cool thing is we could also send an SCV with them, so it will repair the, had the, right idea the, the, the roads. carrier. Why are they empty? Oh, we can see how the many Dominion there are. One, two, three, five, five, nine. Okay. About the Sorry to hear that, Doc. At least these bunkers are in a good spot. I'll see if we can't get a man. So I want two more medics. So we have a total of four. That should be helpful. So on the way back we can also pick up these minerals. That will also help. And... Base is under attack. Should I build another barracks? Our allies are being attacked. Well, base, I think that's... yeah, it's just... just that. That's okay. So as you can see, the marines could shoot that thing, the others could not. Oh, uh, there we have some chrysalis, which is the research stuff we need to pick up. So that's the bonus objectives I will definitely do. And where I will reload a mission if I can't get them. Or, well, a redo, at least, not a reload. Anyways, there we go. Got the research. So oh, that's yeah. good. Uh, just go received. collect stuff. You are done. Let's build on? more supply depots. Uh, we need more stuff, marines. How can we be expected to guard the whole thing? I reckon we can use a mobile force to keep it clear. Or build more bunkers to block the approaches. Yeah, I don't Either really. Way work. Don't really like the bunker approach on this mission because, well, I'd rather have a mobile unit. Although there is one achievement, I think, for not losing a building or something. Uh, but yeah, achievements. The next convoy don't is really almost care ready to about go, those. Please alert your men. So, yep, yeah, we have... We actually don't have any SCVs that are gathering Vespin gas, so we probably should do that. Although, if I'm just building marines, we don't need too much of it. <laughs> They're loading up their truck, which is good. I think two of them should be enough on Vespin gas since I don't require that much, but let's build a couple more for crystals and build a second um, let's see. there we go, that's control group one escort that colonist truck and there we go yeah, I don't need too much gas since we just need these upgrades and medics. Uh, the fire bats would also cost gas, but eh. They also cost two, two, um, two supply slots, so that's not good. I'd rather have two longer ranged marines than one fire bat. Yeah, there we go, that uh, bunker has been destroyed, so we won't be getting the achievement for that. Let's build a couple more supply depots here. Um, Insufficient gas. Yeah, okay, that's, that's fine. Base is under attack. It's also fine. I would have had to 
uh, place units in it. Uh, ooh, probably should have an SCV ready for the next convoy. Our allies are being attacked. Add on complete. Since it did take a bit of damage. Got it. But apart from that, it's kind of looking good. So, uh, let's explore down this way. We still have two DNA that we need to find. So, I think, yep, yeah, there is one. Perhaps we'll also find some more resources lying around. Otherwise... Ah, there are a couple. I mean, it's not that bad. I mostly forget to build more units anyways. <laughs> so that's that. Okay, you build, I don't know, more supply depots, I guess. Okay, you guys get the resources and then back to camp. Upgrade complete. I'm always tending to use the attack move Commander, in StarCraft, because otherwise they can be attacked and will not uh, defend themselves at all. The so that's not good. But if you attack move, they well, they might uh, get stuck attacking stuff. But if it's just a patrol of enemies that's attacking them, they should be fine. Doctor is in. I mean, it's a decent force we have right now. Okay. We do have one SCV for repair duty now. That's also great. Don't leave without us. And you guys escort that thing. And we'll just produce more marines, I guess. Uh, let's see, do we have new buildings? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Thought maybe we would have new buildings, but apparently not. Well, they're no threat. They have these these tentacles <laughs> sticking out of them. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem. So we can go this way. I think the the third chrysalis is over there. So we'll do that on the way back. Better send some I wonder if the. Let's see, 25, 25, no, it's not, it's not faster apparently with the reactor, it's just two units at once, which uh, arguably is faster though. Okay, I think we are through here with the truck, so let's just head over this way, is that a base? E that this is a base, but we'll see. Um, it doesn't say we we cannot lose any convoys. So I guess you kind of can't. Sir, we just detected Zerg organisms entering the upper atmosphere. I can't give you an exact fix, but they're heading your way. Yeah, that's okay. I guess you can't lose this mission uh, exactly. I think they have a base here and a base here, judging from the terrain. Uh, yeah, there's a tower right here, so I think that's a base and there's a base, but don't have to root out the bases. Uh, do we need more medics? Well, perhaps one or two. We have another convoy ready to be escorted, Commander. Water my biscuit. Okay, build a couple more supply depots because, well, 
What else do we do Come in on. the time that we have to kill waiting for the next ex uh, convoy escort? How much armor do they have? Zero. Okay. Okay. Everyone's here. Let's go. This better be good. Let's take our new unit and escort. That's good, and that's also good. Go, go, go. You want a piece of me, boy? And the SCV can also escort next time, that's good. So that was one of those flying things. It didn't do a lot. <laughs> so they just carry a couple Zerglings, that's not too bad. Yeah, I sh probably don't even need to watch them. Just queue up a couple more units and... Yeah, well, I don't see any danger. So you can see the medics really... really uh, are worth their weight in gold. Because I think I haven't lost a unit yet. <laughs> okay. And we are done. Let's go back to base. This better be good. The doctor is in. It's a bit uh, problematic these missions where you well you basically can't be faster than than a certain a certain amount of time sir I'm picking up seismic disturbances closing in on your position I think it's some kind of tunneling Zerg wonderful it's just like him to keep things nice and interesting yeah tunneling Zerg that's not a problem but yeah, I, I generally don't like timed missions in, in any kind of form, so like uh, you have to be as fast as some timer or you have to at least be in the mission for a certain amount of time. It's, uh, it's not my kind of mission, don't We're like those, done, but Another convoy uh, we'll get through it. Soon. Okay, come on, load up. I think I am in the faster mode, that's at least pretty fast seconds. So, load it up please. Actually, let's let's just for fun start producing a couple fire bats. Because why not? Okay. Um, yeah, not a lot to talk about. I mean, we could go and root out a couple Zerg nests, but eh. You gonna give me orders? We have 100 units in our group, so that's not bad. Yeah, I mean, the marines, what are they? 50? 50 crystals. And... Medic 75 crystals and 50 gas. I think that's pretty... cost-efficient. Hope you didn't 
take all the medics for yourselves. <laughs> ah, anyways. Go tunneling circ. That's okay. Ooh, fire bat doing something. That's great. So that's the last shipment, right? Yep, should be enough. And flyers and tunneling circ <laughs> throwing everything at us, but it's not enough. Okay. And done. Yes, That's okay. Go, lift off now. So they're, yep. We've lost the colony, <laughs> but my people got out alive. Thanks Dramatic cutscene after all is done. <laughs> Not reflecting the actual uh, gameplay. Oh, I like the sharks that were in the water there. Ah, oh, yeah. So uh, on hard without losing or salvaging a structure. So. Uh, the hard part about this is obviously keeping the bunkers alive that are out there in the field that you just <laughs> get awarded in, in air quotes <laughs> because uh, it plays against you in this mode. But yeah, I'm not going to hunt achievements, so let's continue. The bridge. Great job, sir. Dr. Hansen's offered to stay on with us for now, and I think her skills will be invaluable. It's hard to believe I'm even here. Great to have you, Doc. How are you planning on pitching in? Well, your medical facilities are medieval, and your science expertise is non-existent. Perhaps I could start there. Ouch. Well, I guess you might be able to teach Stedman a thing or two. Welcome aboard, Doc. More talking, or can we do stuff? Ah, more talking. Guess you heard the news by now, Rainer. Looks like you're back in business. That I am, Mr. Hill. And fighting a Zerg and Dominion all at once is going to take its toll on my standing forces. You got any guns for hire? But you know, the invasion makes it a seller's market right now. Still, your bartender over there makes a hell of a Mai Tai. So, sure, I've got some mercenary contracts you might be interested in. You're all heart, Mr. Hill. Ah, the voice mixing's not always great. Anyways, uh, now we get the mercenary thing. So we have the war picks unlocked already. Um, we could get the hell bats, but well, no, <laughs> don't need that. Ah, uh, let's, let's just business. take a look at it, anyways. It, it's just too expensive. I'd rather take other upgrades before the the hell bats or devil dogs. So they are just stronger units that you can summon in for a certain price. Um. But you can only do that a certain amount of time in a mission. And... Um, what was my train of thought here? You can only do it a certain amount of times. Ah, yes, but they spawn in immediately. You don't have to train them, so... They can act as a sort of emergency button. So you can just summon them in if the base is under attack and you just need a little bit of extra oomph or you can just uh, summon them in as reinforcements for the regular troops. Well, anyways, what do we have? News. Donny Vermillion, UNN. We've got Kate Lockwell on remote feed from Agria, a fringe colony. 
Are you there, Kate? Okay, we seem to be having a sound problem with... I'm being told Emperor Mansk is going to address us directly. Let's take you to his announcement already in progress. My finest military minds are being brought to bear, and it's my pleasure to announce that they'll soon be led by the hero of Taurus himself, General Horace Warfield. Warfield? I thought he retired years ago. With General Warfield at the helm, and our finely honed Dominion military under his command, I have every confidence that this new Zerg threat will be contained very soon. There you have it, viewers. With Warfield in command, the Zerg Swarm will be defeated in no time. Up next, Raynor ups his campaign of terror just as the Zerg reappear. Coincidence? You decide after these messages. All right. So they have a new general. Anyway, Zerg Hunter. Jimmy, thought you'd like these. They, they're the winning entry from a Zerg Hunt a few years back. Maybe they'll bring you luck. Joey Ray, owner proprietor of Joey Ray's bar. On Marsara. P.S. I'll add a TV to your tab. Yeah, shooting TVs is expensive. <laughs> Don't shoot the screen. Uh, the badge. I left this behind on Marsara. How did? Tychus. Just can't let it go, can you? Yeah, right. Tychus brought the deputy batch with with us. Uh, what do you have to say? You meet Doctor Hansen yet? Sure did. I asked that sweet thing if she'd like to give me a physical. No harm in asking, right? I think she's got her eye on some pansy ass, though. Yeah. Who might that be? Oh, I don't know. Some white knight kind of guy came charging down to save a colony, maybe. Damn, Jimmy. You never could read the ladies. Okay. And we also have the arcade. So that's... Uh, we can play the arcade. Which is kind of cool. Lost Viking. You, mighty Viking, are lost. Find your way home to Vikingville. But beware the evil Terratron. He does not like you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it's a it's, uh, space arrow keys control for a bomb and menu escape. Okay. Well, just see. It's actually quite quite neatly made for well just just uh, an Easter egg it's uh, I think there there's a a game from Blizzard called the last Vikings or, or Vikings something uh, it's more or less a co-op game not sure if many people know them I for sure didn't uh, back in the days Ooh, you also get sight missiles Anyways, um, yeah, I'm bad at those kinds of games. Anyways, uh, what was I? Bomb. Okay, that was a bomb. So yeah, the the Viking games kind of neat uh, games for. Um, Talking and these kinds of games are very hard. Anyways, let's try bombs. Oh, that's that's a nice bomb. <laughs> okay, can't go past those. Yeah, it's just a, a co-op puzzle game. Yeah, <laughs> I went right into the. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's great. Just showing off. Uh, not sure if you can beat that thing. Probably you can. Uh, but yes. Um, some Viking game where you play Vikings in co-op. Uh, it's quite an older title, and I think there was two of them or something. But they they like putting these references into their games, like the the Blackthorns uh, set in Diablo 3 is also a reference to the Blackthorn game they had, which is a, a side-scrolling shooter thing. 
something like that. Uh, anyways, let's go up to the armory. Uh, nothing new from Swan, but we have a fire bat here. Uh, we can read a bit more about them. So this EMC 660 heavy combat suit. Fire bat suit contains a volatile mix of gases that seep into the operator compartment. This may explain why fire bat personnel are almost universally resocialized criminals or psychotic pyromaniacs. Okay, that sounds very, very uh, nice if the suit you're wearing actually poisons you with hazardous and burnable fuels. But anyways, so just a bit of trivia surrounding the fire bat. But what we're interested in are the upgrades. So we could buy the, the advanced thing where we could uh, just put them out without the tech lab. But actually I think faster healing is way more important. I think that's more important than any other upgrade, so I'm not even looking at fire bed. Uh, two armor or 30% larger area attack. I mean, larger area attack doesn't mean larger range or, or further uh, bigger range. It just means two range but with a broader AoE. I think so yeah and base as we saw well uh, marine medic force that's mobile is probably going to serve us better than a bunker for now perhaps one day we'll have to, to cash anyways bridge so Hansen I've heard a lot about you commander the Dominion always portrayed you as a criminal a terrorist there's more to you than it seems. Well, with the Dominion being what it is, someone's got to stand up for the little guy. It sure ain't gonna be Mengsk. Doesn't seem like the Emperor cares at all. My people from Agria and displaced populations from across the sector have all fled to a refugee staging area on Meinhof. There are reports of violence and disease spreading throughout the camps, but the Emperor's done nothing. I'll look into it, Doc. Okay, so that sounds like a future mission. And Horner. Sure felt good rescuing those folks. But there's millions more out there that need help, too. We can't be everywhere at once, sir. The important thing is that we set an example and gave them hope. And every time we help folks in need, it's another step on the road to a better future. I know, Matt. But it's been four years and we're still no closer to bringing Minx down. Now with the Zerg back in the mix, your better future needs to hurry up and get here, or there's going to be no one left to see it. Okay, and I think that concludes today's episode, uh, since we are done with the mission and with the talking. So thanks a lot for watching, do hope you've enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a great day, bye.